So yesterday, President Muhammadu Buhari addressed the nation on ongoing lockdown uh, with COVID-19. We would like to hear your own thoughts concerning his broadcast. One of the things he did say that mm. I am, I'm hoping that the governor will now break it down. Who can open? Is it banks? Right. Is it bars? So let's be clear. You know, so let, yes, restaurants so that we can well, be clear. Well, he did clear. say specifically that religious organizations yes. and um, events or social events, mm. is con the restriction continues. Yes, because once they say we can go out, I can assure you, huh. Monday morning like this, everybody's going to fly because we are going to be as if we have been in prison. <laughs> so everybody's going to fly out. <laughs> now, there will be serious traffic. Mm. 6 p.m., if businesses are open and they close at 5, 6 p.m., you cannot be in your house. With the air traffic on third mainland. Mm. So how are we going to do that curfew? Right. So far, I would say that the lockdown hasn't um, brought a curb to the spread as much as I would have expected. Because if we actually were completely locked down, we wouldn't have the case, cases of communal but it's transmission. But the increase in testing, you remember? No, that is actually helping communal us. Communal transmission. We, we, we've, been, we've been on lockdown in Lagos for uh, over a month now. Right. Mm -hmm. Over a month. Over and when, a month. when it started, the, the, we, st we still even had the index case in custody. Mm. So if we had actually completely done the lockdown, we wouldn't have been at this stage. So my, my statement is, I know that the state government, Lagos state government has already said that they are going to, everybody should mask up when going out. Can we break down sector-specific areas? Can we implement hand washing in markets? Because I still go to Ketu Market and it is still yeah, crowded. Right. And you know, so right. when we're, we're not trickling right. it down okay. to the locals. Let me take this call for me. All Nigerians that, that have small-scale business, what of people that work with private companies, and you know, we are ordered to 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 stay at home for more than a month now. What will now be our own gain? You know, like. So many people sitting at home doing nothing. What will not be there again? One. And, you know, in this, you know that we all know that this time is very challenging, very tough and challenging. Many people don't have food to eat. What will not be there again? The gain is to be alive, Michael. Honestly. At the end of the day, the gain is to be alive. And I think that we need to, I, I, I have said it on this um, table that my business has been shut down for six weeks now which means that I have not gotten any income from there. It doesn't mean I've not incurred expenses because I paid last month's salary and I'm going to pay something this month. So at the end of the day, if we start thinking what will be my game, because I cannot access any palliative from the government. My business is too small mm. and I'm not captured. So, and I know many businesses are like that. But if, we, if, I, keep, if, I, if I come on and I'm shouting, what would, what, I've lost something, I've lost something. I'm not thinking of what I've gained by being alive. So Michael and every other person thinking like Michael, thinking yeah. you've lost money. In addition, Think of the fact that you are alive. Hello, good morning. Morning, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, um, I want to just emphasize on issue of um, uh, the president's speech. Right, go ahead. It's, yes, it's very good when he relaxes as he is in it. But what I'm looking on to is that they have never done enough in order to protect people in this issue of virus. I'm expecting by this time, I think in every local government, we should have like um, mobile, as in some virus yes, that you can see written COVID-19, that you can report anything at any time. You understand? That's exactly what I'm expecting. So people can easily read to this NCDC, easily. Because if you see if there is any case, if you call that number, it takes actually more than two, three days before you see people right. responding to you. Mm. I think it's not a good one for Nigeria. That's a fantastic point you raised, John, because you're right. We're a highly populated country.